Today we are opening every master collection ever made. What's up guys? We are back with five master collections, not just master collection one and two in English. We have every master collection. So we have master collection one in English. Then we have master collection two. Those are the big two, you know, the ones that we all remember. Then there are the master collection one through three from the OCG as well. So you guys saw this in the mail day when we got these, but now we are officially opening all three of these. They're huge, so it's really hard to show them. So I'm probably not gonna, you know, go too crazy showing you guys everything. But before we hop into that, I do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about this master collection opening, especially those OCG ones, because we've never opened those before. We are gonna do these one at a time and try to sort of show what's going on in each of them. So we're gonna start off with master collection one from the OCG, and the binder is nearly the same. It's the same thickness. The second and third one are a little bit different, so I thought that was interesting. So let's open this thing up. Okay, so inside side we have let's see if we can do this on camera a very different array of packs than the original or the not the original but the north american copies so we have of course ocg packs rather than north american packs look at these promos we have the creator this thing is warped so warped but it looks really good check that thing out master collection one that is really cool maybe we can get some of that warping out because dang that that thing is pringled up for sure then we have a horus the black flame dragon that looks absolutely amazing check that out that looks so good that parallel secret rare it's still a pringle as well but we will We'll work on it and see if we can fix that thing up. That is really nice. Then we have four packs on this side. The OCG packs, I think, only had like five cards. We've got a Rise of Destiny pack. We've got a Expert Edition. It's guaranteed the same cards. Beginner's Edition. That's like Dark Beginning 1. And then Soul of the Duelist. Check. Oh, yeah. You could feel like they're kind of puffy. Interesting. We'll save those for after we get all the promos up. Ooh, this is awesome. The Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys. Secret Rare, Parallel Secret Rare, whatever it's called. Man, if these aren't Pringled up, this would be nice, but these are really, really cool. Maybe if you put them in like sleeves in a binder and they will kind of like flatten out a little bit, or you can put them under some books. Ancient Gear Golems a promo. Wow, this is so cool. I like that this is not the exact same packs as our Master Collection one. It makes it a little exciting. So we're opening a huge variety today. All right, then we got Flamey Eternity. I love this set. We've got the Lost Millennium, another Expert Edition, and then another Beginner's Edition. Okay, this is going to be fun. Okay, we're going to open these one at a time and look at the promos. Then we're going to actually do the pack opening. I think that'll be more fun. All right, the next one we have is Master Collection 2 for the OCG. So let's see if we can get into this thing. If you guys can see, it's more like the Legendary Collection 1 binder where it's it comes to a point rather than like a square like the other one. So uh, they changed that up. They didn't do that in the English version. The English version was always the big old square looking one. I mean, it's still a square, but like it comes to a point rather than just staying a box, if you know what I'm saying. You might have no idea what I'm talking about, which is totally possible. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. All right, I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay. Then we've got, oh, the packs. What is this? We've got something that I cannot read. If you guys speak Japanese, let me know what that says. Then we have our duelist packs and our regular packs. So we do have cybernetic revolution in here which is pretty insane that's a good one we've got elemental energy are there no promos in this one wait maybe they're behind the i hope there are shadow of infinity that's cool and then uh enemy of justice then we have duelist pack wait there might not be any promos oh there they are oh though whoa those are sick actually wait a second so we've got uh premium pack nine expert edition duelist pack and duelist pack so we got yuki and chaz very nice here are the promos. They're own, in their own little thing. Isn't that cool? These are probably in much better condition. Oh my gosh. Cyber in Dragon. We got to open these up for sure. Like, right? Okay, it gives, even gives you pages. That's nice. All right, let's check these promos out. These, looks af these look absolutely awesome. Um, very solid plastic here. We have the Cyber End Dragon. That's amazing. The Shining Flare Wing Man. Oh my gosh. Raphael, Lord of Phantasms, an Elemental Hero, Shining Phoenix Enforcer, not Phoenix Enforcer. That is really awesome. Check those out. That's some of the best promos ever. Also, the way they did it, I guess, made them not warp because check these out. They look great. 
All right, we're on to the final Japanese Master Collection. This is number three, so I have no idea. This They went to Master Collection, like, way longer than we did because we stopped, like, in the original series, and they're all the way in, like, GX and, and the second one. These are the most annoyingly sized things. It's so hard to open anything. All right, we have... Okay, it's very similar to the last one in terms of the setup. There's four packs of, like, regular sets, and then there's some, like, side sets. we got Cyberdark Impact, Power of the Duelist, Strike of Neos, and the four force of the breaker very nice then we have the uh, more pre another premium pack this is a 10 instead then we got duelist pack astro phoenix duelist pack zane truesdale and a duelist pack Jaden yuki then we have our promos these actually look like they got warped unfortunately because this plastic has been getting on my nerves we have the dark neos very cool cyber dark dragon Ooh, air neos uh, never been reprinted in english and then the volcanic doomfire i always want to mess it up but i didn't that time all right, we have volume one. So inside here, we should have LOB through LOD, I think. I think is what we have in here. And then we have all the promos, which are pretty sweet. Master Collection 2 is actually the coolest one because it has those epic promos like Blackluster Soldier and all that stuff. Okay, let's see how our promos look. They're probably going to be very warped. We have our LOB through MRL or SRL right here. Then we have our Relinquish, which actually is not very warped, which is nice. Then we've got the Barrel Dragon. We've got the Exodia. This one is very warped. I mean, just check it out. That is insane. Then we have Pharaoh Servant through Legacy of Darkness. Then we have our three promos, Dark Ruler Hades, Dark Necrofear, and Thousand Eyes Restrict. All very nice. Then finally, we have the Master Collection Volume 2. This is the one with the most epic promos. These promos are really awesome. I mean, those OCG ones did have really nice promos, so I can't really compare them to that. But compared to the first one, these are a lot better, I think. All right, the struggle is real opening these. I've knocked over the background like four times. I've been trying to fix stuff. So inside, you guys can see on this half, we have the Black Luster Soldier promo. Unfortunately, it looks very warped. Check it out. This is an absolutely awesome one. It has the secret rare. It looks really sweet. But it's pringled up. I think the corner is dinged as well. Not much, though, but it's a little bit. Yeah, the problem with Master Collection is you open them up and they look like this. So it's very difficult to, you know... You gotta, like, do all this work to make them look normal again. Then we have the Blowback and the Thenin. Not the most exciting ones. Blowback's all right. Then we have the Exclusive, the Ancient Sanctuary, and the Invasion of Chaos pack. Then on the other half, we have some pretty nice ones as well. We have Pharaonic Guardian, Magician's Force, and Dark Crisis. And those have some pretty good promos as well. We have the Guardian Sphinx. It was actually an okay card if you actually get it out there. You've got the Breaker of the Magical Warrior, an insanely good one. And then, of course, the Exodia Necros. So these promos are just absolutely amazing in Master Collection too. All right, guys, we have all of these packs. So it's the original 11 packs plus the exclusive pack and all these OCG packs that we're going to open now. I don't even know what you can pull out here. I guess the same sets. I don't really know. Let's start off with the OCG and just start opening. All right. What can we even get in here? That's the exciting part. I don't. How do you even open these packs? Maybe we go like this. Yeah. Start on this side because the top is very long. Duelist pack. I don't know if there's anything crazy you can get in these duelist packs. We're about to find out. Man, these are very annoying to open. They're very solid. All right. Oh, Oversoul. These are very sticky. Oh, my goodness. E emergency call. Nice. Do you get the whole hero thing? Wait, there's no R. Okay. We got the. I almost said Flare Scarab. It's a uh, Flare Neos. Let me know in the comments which of these Master Collections are your favorite because they're all unique. They have different promos in each one. They have different packs. So it's pretty cool. So let me know. Take into account, you know, all the, the cool promos and stuff like that. Even if you don't want to open the Japanese product, you know, just take the promos and what packs they had, etc. We've got a Call of the Haunted. The Cyber Phoenix. These are very difficult to slide. They're like, they, I'm going to Ruxin Special. It's forcing me to. Look, they're stuck together. Cyber Kieran, and then we got the Cyber Laser Dragon. I think it's really hard to pull foils out of OCG packs, so maybe we can, maybe we won't. Aster Phoenix. Let's get that Shining Phoenix Enforcer. Let's go. The nemesis of the channel. We have the D-Time. The D-Time, one of the best cards. We've got the, uh, the boxing one. I don't remember what it's called. Oh, we got a foil. We got the Dasher. It skipped right past it. Super rare. I don't remember what this is called, but it has the Dreadmaster on it, so it looks really cool. That is sweet looking. Very nice. Man, these foils are so, like, sticky. It's like friction. There's a ton of friction between the cards. I don't know. It's very strange. It's not like the English at all. I don't know how to describe it. But, yeah, it feels like just a bunch of friction won't let you get to the next one. 
Ooh, these must have all all uh, foils. So we have a secret parallel rare there. Ooh, the uh, what is this one? It's an it's a hero, I think. It's very cool. Ooh, nice. Oh, I skipped it. Wait, this is like the woodsman, I think. Oh, those are really cool. I like those. Yeah, it was that was a premium pack, wasn't it? Yeah, premium packs always have the same cards. Next, we have the Cyber Dark Impact. Can we pull? Do they have ultimate rares? Like, I know they had ultimate rares before the North America did, but I don't know if they had like them in the same sets that we did. I, I don't know if they did actually. So I don't know if Cyber Dark Impact is gonna have ultimates or not. Maybe it will. Hopefully it does, and we'll pull one. They're probably really hard to pull though. We've got a. I don't know any of these cards. And what what are these? I don't know these. Sometimes they have different artworks too, so it's it's hard to know if you don't because I don't know GX nearly as well as the original series in terms of like the random rares and stuff like that. All right, we have that guy, the Black Terra, I think is what it's called. Oh no! Okay, we only missed one. Man, these are so frictiony, and. Uh, that trap card. I don't know. Let's get to something that I actually know. Let's see if we can do it. Strike of Neos. I think Air Neos is, I mean, it's definitely still in here, but I, maybe like, is DD Crow still in here and all that stuff? I don't know. I don't know if the set is the same. Let me know in the comments if you know about OCG stuff, because I don't know that much. Here we go. The it Aichi or something like that? Is that him? DD Crow, there he is! Check him out! The OCG version. That's awesome. Regular rare. Very nice. So I accidentally called it. We have Force of the Breaker. Okay. Let's see what we can do. We have that guy. Oh my gosh. Ooh, the Blaze Accelerator. We've got that. Oh, a Blaze Accelerator Cannon, I think, is what this is called. Oh, it, so it wasn't at the end. And then you also get a rare. This is the one that searches the Sanctuary in the Sky, I think. We've got another super rare. Not bad, not bad. I don't know what rarities they have besides supers, but maybe we will find out. On to the premium pack. This one should have all the same cards, so let's see what they are. It's interesting how many of these they did, like of the exact same cards. Oh, Electrum. I think I've opened one of these. Well, these are a little easier to actually slide, which is nice. Oh, nice. Okay, I, I can't remember what that guy's called. And that, I think I got those in that, yeah, when I bought these Master Collections, I'm pretty sure I got a set of those. All right, Expert Edition should be Dark Revelation. So it's similar, but it just has a different name. Let us see what is inside. Woodborg and Pachi, something I actually know. Whoops, that's a dog. I can't remember the name. We got the Medusa Worm. Ah, what's that guy's name? I can't remember. Mass Dragon, I know that one. M Enraged Mooka Mooka, not regular Mooka Mooka. We got the Neo Aquamador. I uh, don't remember that name. The Factory of Dark Production or something like that. Is this Castle Walls with a different artwork? Uh, it's something about dynamite. Oh, Jama King! I actually need, I don't know, Jama King for one of my goat decks. So uh, we'll use this OCG one for a while. That's pretty cool, actually. So now I'm going to be playing some OCG cards in my goat deck or one of my goat decks. Because I thought I had an Ultimate Row Jama. I don't know what happened to it, so maybe I don't have one. Maybe I sold it. I can't remember. Okay, we've got the Elemental Hero Avian. We've got the Dark Catapulter. The Spark Man. Come on, come on. <laughs> Warrior Returning Alive. And the Feather Shot. Okay, I didn't know those. I didn't know those. We're getting close to the really exciting ones. So we have Duelist Pack Chaz. Hopefully we can pull something crazy. Uh, What just happened? Here we go. This is the Chthonian Alliance, I think. We pulled that in Ultimate Rare the other day. We've got the uh, Ojama Trio, maybe? The Chthonian Blast. Don't remember the name of that one. And XYZ Dragon Cannon. We do know that guy. Okay, we're, we're getting some more, you know, more familiar territory. Ah, Enemy of Justice. The enemy of my channel. Will we pull the Shining Phoenix? If there's an Ultimate Shining Phoenix Enforcer even in here, like, there's one, first of all, no way we'll pull it. But if we did... Would that count as breaking the streak? I mean, it might, honestly. Is this Hita, the Fire Charmer? Um, there's two cards there. You can't even tell they're so stuck together. D Hero. I can't remember his name. I don't remember that one either. Oh, oh. Another D Hero card. Oh, 
Oh, we did get an ultimate rare. There are ultimates. It's the majestic neck, like Goryu or something like that. I think the name is. I just bit my lip. So we did get an ultimate. I'm unintentionally calling these things, but it wasn't the actual really good one we're looking for. So that is nice to know. You can get ultimate rare. So we're now we're still hoping. Ultimate rare out of an OCG pack would be pretty cool. And I think maybe these original ones, I know that you could pull some stuff out of the original. I don't think they had like LOB though. Like they had different names. So maybe they started doing the same sets later. Like with Flaming Eternity and all this stuff. Oh, man. It is so hard to open these. All right. Machine King Prototype. I remember that one. The uh, success probability zero. And this card. Elemental Energy. Can we get that Shining, Fl Shining Flare Wingman? I, I always say flame and then just like, no, that's not it. Man, these are so crackly and hard to open. Oxy, get on. We've got the, oh, branch maybe? Is that branch? Uh, League of Uniform Nomenclature. Ah, oh, there's the rare, the, uh, wait, did we miss a card or the only four? I think we missed one. Yeah, the wild heart. There it is. Cybernetic Revolution. If there's ever a time to pull an ultra rare, it's now. It is now. I don't think, have I? I'm trying to think of an OCG. Yeah, I have actually. Yeah, I have seen one, but yeah, I forgot. They, they were actually kind of popular a couple years ago on Instagram. All right, come on. Chill out. Chill out over there. Here we go. We got Drill Roid. You got the, uh, oh, of course. Oh, this guy. Uh, something with Kazaki. I can't remember. The uh, lops, Mad Lobster or something like that. The, I don't remember. A Bella Bubble Man. That would be a cool ultimate rare. Okay, a few more OCG packs, and then we get into the real stuff. We get into the English, my real, I, I don't mean Japanese is not real, but you know, the stuff that I actually know. The original, not original, but there are reprints. EN cards, though, pretty cool. Oh, wow, these are absolutely warped. This is crazy. All right, we've got Azura. We've got the Hosingen. Troop Dragon. The Judai Gumo. We've got the Serpentine Princess. Block Attack. Uh, I don't know what that is. It looks like XYZ Dragon Cannon. Is it, 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 uh, for some reason, I'm thinking it's an alternate artwork of Mass Driver, but I could be wrong. Uh, it's a Teuton Mask. Bottomless Trap Hole. Oh, a Hinokagu Suchi. We got a, an Ultra Rare, actually. That's why it was so warped. Check that out. We got Pringle City over here. In the pack was warped. Okay, that's interesting. Pack warpage going on. But still, that's an ultra rare. This one kind of feels warped too. Does that mean we have a foil in here? These aren't guaranteed foils, are they? Surely not. I wouldn't think so. Okay, we've got the Warrior of Zera. We've got the Neo Bug. The, uh, ooh. Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. Balloon Lizard. The Thing in the Crater. Giga, 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 Giga. These are like all Invasion of Chaos cards. This is an Ancient Sanctuary card. I can't remember what it's called, though. Smashing Ground. We've got the uh, Primal Seed, I think is what that's called. What is this one? I don't know that one. I don't know that one either. Oh, and a Strike Ninja. Are these guaranteed foils? Strike Ninja Ultra Rare, another Pringle. We're Pringling it up today, but that is still really awesome. I mean, all these feel like maybe Dark Beginning and Dark Revelation or whatever in the OCG had guaranteed foils. Or are we just getting really lucky? I feel like we can't get that lucky. That's just crazy. We've got the Sword Ninja or the Sword Master, the Sword Hunt, Sword Hunter. There we go. Are you Robbie? We got the Neo. No, the Flying Kamikiri. Mahavila. The Left Arm of the Forbidden One. The Arkansas Razorbacks. Jam Defender. Mirror or something. I can't remember. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Nice. Oh, that's a foil. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Oh, that's sick. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Super rare. Are these guaranteed? Somebody let me know. Somebody. One of you guys has to know. That is the coolest pull yet. Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Super rare. He's not as Pringly. That's good. He's still a little Pringly, but not as bad. And then the Cyber Jar, that's an annoying card. Yeah, now that we, now that I can finally talk about the series, uh, Cyber Jar was pretty annoying in the first episode, uh, the auction series, but yeah, because we had to keep it secret for a few weeks or a couple of weeks, but all right, let's keep going. Soul of the Duelist, level up. I think I just skipped a card again. I did. Oh my goodness. The Dark Mimic, 
And the Arm Dragon, level 5. Give us the Horus, that would have been sick. Lost Millennium, Ancient Gear Golem. Come on. Man, it's like painful to open these things. Another Avian. Wait. And there was also another card. And the token... Token Thanksgiving? There's also a token festival? I'm not sure which one it is. Okay, this is Flaming Eternity. This could have the Sacred Phoenix. So let's do it. I think they actually have Seeker Rares in these sets too, do they? Or maybe that's a different set. We have the Insect Knight. Hyena. We've got the uh, Fusion Guy. The Threatening Roar. And the Chiron the Mage. All right, just another rare. This is why I'm thinking those had to be guaranteed because we've barely pulled any foils besides that. And those have like, those all had foils in a row. This is pretty weird. Okay, Freezing Beast. The Gravekeeper Spear Soldier. We got the uh, Pitch Dark Dragon or Dark Blade. I can't remember. Dark Blade is, it's a fusion of Dark Blade. The Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. Despair from the Dark. Uh, Frontline Base. Uh, Dark Room of Nightmare, I think. It's a super rare. Metamorphosis! That's a nice card. We'll set that over there. That's a pretty good one. Uh, I don't know what that is. Sakuretsu Armor. The Tribe Infecting Virus. Another good one. Alright, that's a good rare. To be honest, that was a good pack. And the final pack, and then we go into the English packs. We have Rise of Destiny. Can we pull something for our Destiny? So, it, they start after Master Collection 1 in English. So, I guess that's... They didn't do it until after English. Interesting. Harpy Girl, that's a classic. We got the, oh, we got the uh, Firing something, Squaw, I don't remember. So we did okay on those packs. Now let's get into the ones that we really want to see. The originals, the OGs. All right, let's start off with the uh, exclusive pack because it's the boring one. We will start off with the exclusive pack. It is always the same. It's always the same cards, you know, the uh, the uh, Thenin and all that stuff. This, yeah, the ones everybody has and they think they have rare cards. And then they realize that everyone has these. Okay, there we go. And then you got a bunch of commons. The different dimension, turn from a different dimension is pretty good. Pet in the Dark Clown. All right, 11 packs left in the opening. Let's see if we can pull some epic foils. These are all, these should all be EN cards, I think. Maybe Master Collection 2 is not. I gotta check. Let's see. Yeah, Master Collection 1 only has EN. All right, we got the Warrior of Zera, Goblin King, Mystic Walk. Soul Resurrections, we got a rare right off the bat in our English packs. Invasion of Chaos is next. We could pull the Blackluster Soldier. Will it happen? Probably not, but we'll see. Here we go. We have the Primal Seed, Grandmaju de Iza, Tower of Babel, Fenrir, and the Dark Dry Ceratops. We got a Recycle, a Hero Emerges, Desk Kangaroo, and the Prickle Fairy. All right, we're starting over two. It's a slow start, but we have many epic packs to go. Dark Crisis. Can we pull the Exodian Necros, the Shinado, the Skull Archfiend of Lightning, Skill Drain, all that stuff, Ray of Hope. The Nintendogs. The Yaku Gyre Penda. Dark Scorpion, Mene the Thor. And Mephis, the Infernal General. We got a Rod of Silence, Chaos. A little wind guard, Arsenal Summoner, and the Battle Footballer. 0 for 3. I still believe, though. We now have Magician's Force. Craziness could happen here. And speaking of craziness, go check out when we opened the Magician's Force booster box recently. It was absolutely insane. We have Physical Double, Decayed Commander, Kaiser Coliseum, one of my favorite new favorite cards, Amazonas, Blue Piper, and the Dark Blade, Zombie Tiger, Vampire Orchids, Disarmament, and Old Vindictive. That's a pretty good one. Okay, come on. We need a foil. So far, we have nothing. Pharaonic Guardian, Master Collection 2 so far. This was the last pack. We have not pulled anything besides the guaranteed ones out of the exclusive pack. Secret Pass to the Treasures. A lot of good commons and rares in this set. Nightmare Horse. Trap does shoot. Speak of the Devil. There's a very good one. Gravekeeper's Curse. Trap of Border Racer. We have a super rare. Probably the worst one out of all the sets. But it is a super. We cannot complain. We've got Call of the Mummy, Impachi, Ordeal of a Traveler. Ah, classic. And the Shape Snatch. Six packs to go. Legacy of Darkness. Let's do this. Pull an unlimited secret rare. I'd take it. We have the Convulsion of Nature. The Woodland Sprite. Dragon's Gunfire. A Wingbeat of Giant Dragon. 
The A Forces. Okay, we've got Super Robo Lady, Troop Dragon, Finishing Mirror, and Patrician of Darkness. We are one for seven so far. Is that right? One for seven? Something like that. Here we go. Maybe one for six, actually. Labyrinth of the Nightmare. These are EN cards, so anything pulled EN is pretty cool and pretty unique. The Earl of Demise by EN, I mean the EN prefix right there. LON EN. Soul Purity. We got the Deal of Phantom. Flying Fish. And a new V of the Wicked Empress Mantis, Spirit of the Flames, Lightning Blade, and Guru of the Wind Spirit. Okay. Pharaoh Servant. EN Genzo. It's one we've never pulled. We've pulled a lot of Genzos. We pulled First Edition. We pulled Unlimited. We pulled Reprint. But we have not pulled an EN version. Let's see if we can do it here. Respect play. Garuchin Aguagata. Souls of the Forgotten. The Gust. And. Forced Requisition. We got a Science Soldier, Driving Snow, Harpy's Brother, and Reign of Mercy. Three packs remain. Only one foil pulled so far. Let's see what we can do. We did get all these awesome promos that hopefully will flatten out when I put them in the binder. But we are looking for a foil pull out of this SRL EN set. Eternal Rest. We got the Horn of Light. Sonic Bird. Tyone number two. And Horn of the Unicorn. Mystic Plasma Zone. Whiptail Crow. Performance of the Sword. And Giant Turtle who feeds on flames. That's okay because we have the two best sets left. Metal Raiders and Legend of Blue Eyes. Let's pull an Epic Gate Guardian. Summon Skull. Beast Skull. Solemn Judgment. Mirror Force. Barrel Dragon. Any of that stuff. Time Wizard. Tremendous fire. Come on. Trent. Punished Eagle. The Armored Zombie. How's that armor treating you? And. White Magical Hat. Kojikaze. Sword of Deep Seated. Giltia. And Electric Lizard. It's all come down to this. The final pack. Only one foil pull. I knew it was out of Pharaonic Guardian and it was the super rare. <laughs> come on. Let's go. We have. Out of the, the final pack of this opening, we've opened five different master collections. We have a Sogan. We have a Mystical Sheep, number two. Can we get that Blue Eyes White Dragon? Tripwire Beast, and Skull Red Bird, and here we go. Come on. Dark Hole. We always seem to pull Dark Hole out of Legend of Blue Eyes, but we will take it. Dark Hole, L O B E N. At least it's something. It wasn't the best pulls today. But we did have some pretty awesome product open, and those promos are really incredible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Master Collection opening, every single one in English and Japanese. If you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, because we have more epicness coming up. But before we end the video, I have to shout out my ultimate supporters on YouTube and Patreon. We have TCG Trusted Cards, Toe Info Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!